In this video, you guys get a twofer. We're gonna take a look at two bike packing bags from Salsa, their seat bag and their top two bag, which are both part of their EXP series line. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration all about traveling with your bike, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. Uh, so jumping right in, a couple of weeks ago, we took a look at the Salsa Anything Cradle. And today we're gonna take a look at two other bags in that line, their top two bag and their seat bag. So the top two bag is fairly basic and minimal. Uh, it connects to your bike two different ways. You can either utilize the Velcro system which is a single strap on the bottom and a, another strap near the top. Or if you have a bike like the Salsa Cutthroat, which actually has a little bit of hardware to mount these style top two bags, uh, it's drilled out and includes some washers so you can more securely attach this to your bike without using all the Velcro. The top two bag is really water resistant. It's got, it's made out of a, this welded construction and it's got a little bit of weatherproofing on the zippers themselves. On either side of the top two bag, there are two mesh pockets that run the full length on the inside. And on the bottom is this little uh, slightly padded piece that kind of helps absorb a couple bumps uh, inside the bag. Other than those features on the inside, that's really it. It's a, it's a really minimal bag. There's no leash for a key or anything like that, but it does have a fair amount of volume. I think the stated volume on this bag is 1.2 liters and it's fairly roomy. If you carry cameras like me, this will handily fit a Canon 7X, Canon G5X, you know, Sony RX100, or even a really small mirrorless camera with a prime lens. There is something I wish this bag had on the interior was a contrasting color. It's really dark in here. I can easily see losing things, maybe getting stuck beneath this little piece of padding. And speaking of padding, there isn't much. Uh, so if you have like really delicate electronics, you're definitely gonna wanna wrap it in something else or maybe cut out another little foam layer to line the bottom. Closure itself is made up of two zipper pulls and it's really quick to operate one-handed even while you're riding. And that's really about it for the top two bag. If you're looking for a roomy, a really minimal top two bag that's easy to open one-handed, uh, then definitely consider this bag. If you want something a little bit more feature rich, something that has a contrasting interior or maybe a little bit more organization, uh, then this bag probably isn't for you. So the next bag we're gonna look at is the Salsa seat bag. And the way this attaches to the bike, uh, there are no surprises. It works just like any other seat bag. There is one large Velcro that goes around your seat posts and two other buckles that wrap around your rails. And it's got a rolling closure in the rear. Probably the, the biggest uh, features on this bag is that it's highly water resistant. Again, it's got the same welded construction. And uh, one cool thing is it has a purge valve. So as you roll things up, it'll fill up with air, but you can release that air so you can get things tighter down. Other features include a some bungee strapping on the back, uh, perfect for putting on layers. There's also little loops on the rear of the bag so you can attach a blinky. The bottom of the bag is made of this really slick, slightly more durable material. Uh, so I can definitely see if you're riding and it collects mud, it'll be easy to wipe off and uh, it'll really withstand a lot of abrasion. Probably the first thing I noticed when I mounted this bag is actually how horizontal it sits on my bike. I don't know if this is just specific to uh, the bikes I have, but for the most part, they seem to stick out perfectly horizontal. So if you have seat bags that tilt upwards and that bothers you and you're looking for an alternative, then this is a good bag to check out. I think that uh, the fact that it sits more horizontal might help it act more as a fender, so that's another kind of nice touch. But other than that, it works just like any other seat bag that we've seen so far on the market. So if you're looking for really sleek and minimal and black uh, seat bags and top tubes, and definitely check out the Salsa EXP series line. We're gonna take the series out on a couple of trips and really put them through their paces. Uh, so be sure to subscribe and get so you can get notified of our review video when we've actually taken them out, gotten them dirty, and I will let you know what we think. So has anyone on the channel used these bags? Uh, I know that they've been out for a while and we're only getting uh, our chance now to, to mess around with them. Uh, let me know if they've held up for you guys. I'm really curious. They seem durable. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any specific questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Thank you.